New at 5:30, NASA scientists are celebrating a decade of research on Mars. The rover Curiosity first landed on the red planet 10 years ago this summer. We're taking a look back at some of its big discoveries. Philip Townsend also tells us why it won't be getting company from another part of the world anytime soon. Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on Mars. The celebration of a mission that's still paying off today. This was back in 2012. A team of NASA researchers just landed the rover Curiosity on Mars. No easy task. At the time, out of the 40 Mars missions launched from Earth, 26 had failed. And even before going to work on the Red Planet, Curiosity needed to make that 354 million mile commute, landing in a way never done before. The novel design is this little rocket jet pack that, that flies the rover down and then lowers the rover down on a tether, lands it on the ground, and then that rocket jet pack flies off and, uh, and we're done with it. The mobile chemistry lab, the size of a Mini Cooper, has been exploring, scanning, sampling, and capturing images of Mars ever since. It's found methane in the atmosphere, organic chemicals in the soil, even signs of fresh water and beauty. Like this image, a flower-like rock artifact, smaller than a penny, captured just one week ago. Now, while Curiosity is thriving, a separate Mars mission could be dead in the water. Europe and Russia were scheduled to launch a rover to the Red Planet this fall. But after a meeting with its 22 member states, the European Space Agency now says because of the war in Ukraine, the sanctions and the wider context make a launch in 2022 very unlikely. And that means, for now, we will continue to rely on rovers like Curiosity to find out if there's life on Mars. For 13 News Now, I'm Philip Townsend. Researchers at NASA Langley were a big part of guiding the Curiosity landing back in 2012.